Alrighty guys, what's going on? It's your boy Crow back at it again with another episode. Sorry I haven't uploaded much this week, but I promise today's gonna be a double upload. Because we also got that uh, Retro Royale right here. Video coming out very, very soon. Uh, so I've been trying to pump that out. That's gonna be in 8 hours, 15 minutes starting. Right now it's 5.43 p.m. Mountain Time, so... Gosh, when is that? Eight hours from now. Roughly two in the morning, as far as mountain time. And it's when it starts, and it's just going to be old school cards. Uh, I've got some really interesting ideas for what kind of decks I want to do. Let's just start right in this, opening up some chests. Just skip right through. We got a bunch of them just kind of racked up. Uh, probably have a crown chest I can go through, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, some silver chests. Got to get those cards. Some gold chests. I've just been cycling these and then racked them up over the last two days. Uh, anyways, this is a deck I want to try out, and this deck uh, just just made them actually. So uh, I'm just gonna use them, kind of test the, test the waters, sort of played around with them a bit. Uh, I kind of like them personally, to be honest. But let's just hop right into a battle. I want to talk about it because I really like the poison spell lately, and it's kind of one of my only level four epics. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be my first battle on this account today, and this guy's already a level ahead of me. Wow. Let's hit him with a wow. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait to scar me that. I, I will probably drop a baby dragon back here. Kind of stop his push. I know I should be throwing stuff here so he continues his push, but I'm not really sure what to do. I'm gonna do a mega minion down here. So that Lumberjack can't get much off. And the Skarmy to block this guy. I'm going to throw Valkyrie up here to distract the Witch. And that's going to be an overkill Elixir push. Uh, let's see if we can get a Hog up in this mix. I'm just kind of throwing him haphazardly. Just to kind of get a really gnarly push going on. All he could do is throw that Log. But the Mega Minion is going to do work on that tower. And so is the Hog Rider. Probably going to take down the tower right here. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get that one crown. Awesome. Let's go. This is pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, let's just try and change the point of attack. I was going to say that, but he dropped a miner, so I'm just getting ready for a goblin barrel or something. Something cheeky back here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, looks like he doesn't have a lot of air defense. The baby dragon minion is working out really well. But we could go for a 3 crown because we know he just dropped the giant. So let's do a nice push on his crown tower up here. Or the king tower, whatever you want to call it. And let's see what he tries to stop it with. He's going to use his lumberjack. Oh my gosh, no. Low power. Uh, that Mega Minion is going to get a few shots off that are kind of gnarly. I know he has that log, but he just used it. So now we're just going to rush that giant with this guy. And he's going to have to fireball to counter. But I think a few skeletons survived. We could drop the Musketeer to slow down this giant, this level 8 beast. And that Miner's going to aggro the Musketeer. I was about to say Minion. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Uh, at this point, the King Tower and the other are about the same. I can pretty much just distract right over here. And we're going to drop a Poison like that. Hopefully get... Oh my god, that efficiency on the Poison. Oh my gosh, we're getting the Witch, the King Tower, and everything. All of the above. Can we get the Witch? Oh... It ran out. Let's see if we can pull the witch with the musketeer. She's a level 5, man. Dude, this guy has level 5 epics. Uh, let's see if we can get some nice push going here. I'm just going to drop this guy. And another poison. Uh, I don't know if it is hitting the king tower, looks like, which is awesome. That barbarian is going to get torn down to shreds. Let's see if we can just take one more... One more tower. I'm going to let him take ours. And looks like that's going to be game regardless. The 2-1 to one crown. Love this deck. It's got so much control on his troops. Especially with that poison spell in the air. In, uh, <laughs> in there at the end. Uh, so that's that. And let's hop in with this. I know a lot of people are going to get pissed. It's a real giant deck. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do when you're trying to get to a higher level. Uh, or higher arena. Plus, the S deck sounds kind of cool. I've got the Skelly Army in there because that's kind of like the ultimate counter to Elite Barbs lately. And that's kind of what a lot of people have been rocking out with. Um, 
Yeah, let's see. So he is a level 9. I'm guessing this guy's going to be pretty good. Uh, let's try. We're just going to drop our Musketeer out here as our starting play just to keep that Elixir cycling. And I see that he is throwing the Giant out, so I'm going to throw a Valkyrie here, throw him for kind of a curveball and the Mega Minion in the mix. Just kind of see what he does. He's probably going to try and pull over there. The Musketeer got him taken care of. That Wizard's going to do some serious work on the Minion, but is he going to hit? He will not. Luckily, we were able to take that Wizard over and out of there. And that Musketeer is going to tank anything that comes our way. And we could probably block that Giant just like that. Three. Let's see if we can save up for a... Oh, we missed that. How? How did we miss that pull? What? That is unreal. I can't believe we missed that pull right there. Oh, that's not going to be good. Those elite barbs were really taking us down. And I hope he doesn't have a Valkyrie or anything. This wizard could maybe get a shot in. He's got the Electro Wizard. I'm okay with that. Maybe the... Oh, he's going to retarget for the Valkyrie. Which is going to mitigate some of his damage. And we'll be able to take him out that way. And I'll just zap all that. I probably didn't need to because it's a Valkyrie. I'm so stupid. He's going to try to pull with a Tombstone, but it was late. So now the Valkyrie is going to get three hits in, which is pretty freaking gnarly. Get that fresh 9-R. Uh, I think I'm going to throw a Musketeer up here to sort of take care of that Tombstone. Hopefully she can reach. Yeah, awesome. She's just going to clear those Skeletons nicely. And I'm just going to let her run naked onto that tower. Oh, gosh, that sounds so dirty. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw Wizard here because I know what he's going to do. And that's what he's going to do. That's not what I was expecting by any means. Hopefully, the Wizard's going to run in front of the Giant, which is great because now the Giant is going to push up. And I'll be able to use a Skelly army on this horde and throw in a Royal Giant here. Oh, no, he's going to take that other tower, isn't he? Uh, that's not good. Uh, I'm just going to use the Valkyrie to try and defend, but I think we're going to be able to take that other tower. Unfortunately, it's aggroing the Mega Minion, but we better take that other tower because we really need it to kind of stay in this game right now. I'm just going to zap just for... Okay, we could take the tower, though. That's good. That's good. We could take the tower. If he leaves it unattended, we could just throw a fireball at the last second. I don't think he's seen the fireball the whole game. Which is going to be pretty nice. We're going to get some good shots off with our Royal Giant there. He's going to do some serious work. And I'm just going to drop a Valkyrie here to distract. And I know the Electro Wizard cannot handle those guys. Uh, we could even just let her run onto there. I th okay, the Zap. I was like hoping the Zap would be enough to take care of it. And now the Fireball to just clear those Elite Barbs. I do not want any damage from them onto there. And I think he's dropping a Tombstone soon. So can we please get that... Royal Giant to start targeting now. And maybe one more shot. Oh, not quite. I will have to drop a good game, though, because that is officially over with the zap. I'm such a freaking ass for doing that. But there you go. That wizard was dancing out at the end. I don't know what the hell that wizard was doing. He was just seizing out. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to start this unlock on the silver chest. And there you have it. That's my deck so far. Those two decks. Feel free to copy them. That's this guy for the Royal Giant deck. It's a really nice push. If you had to replace the Mega Minion, I would just say use the regular minions right here. Or uh, if you have don't have the Wizard, I'd say try going for like an Ice Wizard. If you don't have that, you could even go with Fire Spirits potentially. Uh, personally, I wouldn't do it. I'd stay with the Wizard if possible. If your Skelly army is weak, you could even go for like a minion horde or something else. I like this guy because it's so cheap. And it can really handle a lot of cards. It's very versatile. Musketeer, uh, if you have the option to, go for an Electro Wizard. Because that thing will destroy uh, many other decks. The Valkyrie as well is just so good to have. Anyways, that's that deck. And then as far as this guy, I love that baby dragon. It's actually doing a lot of work lately. And I just got enough uh, cards to upgrade it to level 4, which is going to be so awesome because in my arena, I do not have that many cards. I'm total trash. Uh, I need more gold, so luckily when, uh, I think in the next day or two, I might be getting some more gems. I'll start hitting up some grand challenges. Get a bunch of cards out of those and some gold too. Those things give you so much if you can win. So anyways, there you have it, folks. That's our game. Uh, feel free to copy those two decks, like I said. And if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I mean, what some of your favorite decks are. 
and some of the decks you'd like to see me try out maybe next time if you have any suggestions. Also, like the video, because it helps me stay motivated. Uh, subscribe for more amazing content, and as always, stay classy.